My name is Stephen Griffin. Uh, I first met Craig when I moved to uh, East Cardiff, about seven, seven years old. And um, my cousin knew him, so straight away, compared to one, one of the pack. My name is Tony Richards, and I'm from Lan Romney. My name is Renee, I'm from Romney, Cardiff, and I'm Craig's sister. I know Craig uh, through his mum and dad, obviously. We've been friends for many a year. And I also know Craig through boxing at the amateurs with the club that we run is uh, Lan Romney Phoenix. One of the best memories is definitely when we were sort of 78 years old, boxing amongst each other with 14 ounce and 16 ounce gloves. And every now and then, the rock while used to jump the fence when we, when we used to get too excited and chase all of us. And you'd see Walter Kennedy, Craig's dad, running for his life. Uh, my favourite memory of Craig is uh, one summer's day, I heard a scream coming from the bedroom. I ran in there and found Craig hidden under a quilt, tied in from a moth because he's scared of moths. The favourite memory for me personally is. Uh, when we fought Wadi Camacho in the second fight. Was a, that was a good disciplined fight, good hard fight, and a well fought and a well won uh, fight that Craig put together on that day. Because after the first fight we had, we uh, got Wadi disqualified. But to go back into that ring to fight the same fight of the game and do the business was a good job. Philip Abdullah, I'm from Romney, Cardiff. Me and Craig are cousins. Hi, my name is Steve Robson. I'm born and bred from Cardiff, and uh, I'm a former world boxing champion. And I'm a boxing trainer now, and I'm training Craig Kennedy. Hi, I'm Diane Kennedy, and I am Craig Kennedy's mother. Favourite memory always sticks out is when both of us on Halloween we got chased down by a dog. Me and Craig managed to get away, but our cousin Trotter unfortunately got caught. <laughs> My favourite memory of Craig is probably how much cereal he ate. Um, whilst all the other children were eating uh, sweets and crisps, Craig was more of a cereal type boy. Um, he didn't mind if there was milk on it or not, he'd even eat it raw out the box. It didn't bother Craig at whatsoever, so yeah, <laughs> that's probably one of my funny memories of Craig. Actually, I knew Craig from a very young age, really, but pretty young. I was actually defending my title against Nassim Hamilton. He was actually there, he was a young boy. He said, oh, I'm a boxer, I'm an amateur boxer, and obviously he was rooting for me to win, but I'm obviously won my legs. Sims from Trowbridge, Cardiff. I've known Craig for 28 years and we've been together for 18 years. I have been six years old when I first met Craig in infant school. I'm Walter Kennedy and I'm Craig's dad and I'm from Cardiff. My name is Jason Massey, I'm 46 years old. I'm from Craig's hometown of Trowbridge and I've known Craig for many years because he lived just a few doors up for me uh, in the street there. My favourite memory would have been when we were travelling around Thailand on the back of a moped with Craig being my personal tour guide, of course. We'd gone to Lekwa Stadium to watch Craig. He was always a key uh, athletic. He was, he was always uh, running. Um, when everyone else was lining up to do their running, Craig would always go down as if he was in the static blocks. Always competitive. Um, just like myself, I was a keen sportsman, and uh, I enjoyed watching him. And he was always, he always tried, tried to be the best. Favorite memory of Craig? There's so many, but one sticks in my mind in particular. Uh, a few years back, I was 40, uh, went on holiday with my wife um, to Spain. My daughter stayed home. I need a ring to surprise party for me, which I absolutely knew nothing about. Uh, Craig, being Craig, got involved. He set up marquees in the garden. And, Range for Caribbean food to be cooked on site for when I come back. Anyway, when we got home, I put the key in the door, opened the door, there's hundreds of people there screaming and shouting. The first person that came running up to me and lifted me up, shouting happy birthday, was Craig. I always remember that. It's 
been a journey right from the off, right from when we were little. We're all Cardiff boys. We all want to support one somebody who's going to achieve their dream. Because he's worked hard to get to where he's got to today. Um, he's passionate. It's something that he's wanted to do since he's been a kid. And it's the British belt. He's put the work in. He trains hard. He's dedicated himself to the sport from the amateurs. He, even in the amateurs, he trained like a professional. Greg is a very dedicated fighter. And for him to win this, and the Lonsdale belt, second and unreal, isn't it? He's humble, he's tenacious, and he's rapid. Passionate, competitive, and dedicated. He's very polite to people, isn't he? He's a likeable person, and he trains and works hard at what he does. to it, uh, really concentrated on it and become professional, he would do really well um, and it would just make my day if he, if he won it. Patient, caring and dedicated. He's always uh, keen to help others, uh, he's done a lot for charity, anyone asking, there's nothing, never a problem for him. He's my son but he's also my best friend. If I could describe Craig in three words, it would be heart of gold in 24 carat. It mean a lot to me because when you think of it, um, I was world champion, I was a WBO world champion, also European champion. The only title I didn't win is the British title. And I feel like if he wins the British title, I feel like I won as well because obviously I'm this trainer. I'd be there in his corner, I'd be training right through his career. So I'd be so proud of you in that British style. Great winning this fight is so important to me um, is because I know that he has uh, so many Welsh fans behind him that for Craig to succeed I know it would not only be a, a win for Craig but it would be a massive win for his family, his close friends and his fans. I think it's because I've seen the background, his training just everything he's given and I know from day one that he's always been a fighter and he's always had that heart and he's always gone through thick and thin and I just think that in, in on match the 11th with that belt in his hand with our grandpa's next to him I think he'll just mean the world to him and me you know um, he can really fight quite well he's a good boxer he's better when he boxes um, and his um, and his power he is quite hard as well his, his hand speed and yeah, when he puts his mind to it, he's no longer touching. My first word would be focused. Craig is very, very focused on anything that he attains to succeed within life. Um, he works hard and he, he's very dedicated to everything he does, so focus would be one of my words. And endearing. Um, I think Craig is a very genuine, loving person and uh, you know, it comes naturally to him, so yeah, very endearing. Uh, my third word would be gallant. Um, Craig can be very brave and heroic in the ring. Three words to describe Craig. Ambitious, driven and genuine. Very humble guy, he's down to earth, he's always got time for everybody and the whole community is rooting him on. He's worked hard to get to where he's got to today and um, he's passionate, it's something that he's wanted to do since he's been a kid and it's the British belt. Favourite fight? My favourite fight was 
Craig's first one as a pro against Junior Miller, who's probably still about six foot nine. And um, when we were standing to see the doctor, Craig was, was behind him. And he said, who's that guy? And I looked up, he was quite tall, I'm gonna say, like I say, six foot eight, six foot nine. I said, well, that's the guy you're fighting. So that's my favorite fight because he did the business that day too. It's our city, it's our fight. We're all beyond you, Craig, come on. It's our fight, it's our city. We're all behind you, come on, Craig. It's our city, it's our fight. We're all behind you, come on, Craig. City is our fight. We are all behind you. Come on, Craig. Let's get that title. It's our city. It's our fight. We're all behind you. Come on, Craig. I feel that like once he wins a world in British style, that's going to give him a big confidence, a big booster. It's just like with me, obviously, we would, would think I was going to win a world title short notice and the way I won it, or the way I defended it. But same with Craig. He's in that position now, we've got to win that British title. Once he wins that, boom, his confidence is going to go high, he's going to go all the way. I believe he'll go all the way. Craig deserves to win the British Cruiserweight title simply because of all the hard work and dedication that Craig puts into the sport. Uh, his love of the sport, his dedication, and if hard work helps you succeed, Craig will definitely succeed in the boxing world. I think it's because I've seen the background, his training, just everything he's given and I know from day one that he's always been a fighter and he's always had that heart and he's always gone through thick and thin and I just think that in, in on match the 11th with that belt in his hand, with our grandpies next to him, I think he'll just mean the world to him and me, you know? It's our city, it's our fight. We are all behind you. Come on, Craig! It's our city, it's our fight. We're all behind you. Come on, Craig. <laughs>